hello everyone welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about that how are we going to clear all the cache from our windows pc now the advantage of clearing a cache is that it makes your computer work faster it actually loads the fresh data no stale data is loaded and in also make sure that you are getting the latest piece of information without any delays delays so basically cache is actually maintained like a memory it is a small bit of memory that is maintained so that uh, if you are frequently accessing any piece of data then that data is stored in the cache memory then next time you are accessing that data it is taken from the cache memory so that it is presented to you faster but it has some disadvantages like sometimes you might get stale data having a lot of cache memory can slow the computer speed etc so it is a good practice to clear up the cache time to time so in this video we are going to see the steps you need to follow to clear up the cache in your system the process is pretty simple without any further ado let us just dive right into the solution the first thing you need to do is press windows r from your keyboard this will bring up the run menu now here we need to run some of the programs so the first program that i need to run or i need to open is prefetch so p r e f e t c h prefetch click on okay or press enter so it will ask you for a permission then give it the admin permission so these are actually the files that only the admins can access so if you see these are all the temporary files that um, are maintained by our pc and by deleting these files our pc speed will improve so just press control a shift then delete so shift delete make sure that your items are permanently deleted they are not stored in the recycle bins but they are gone for once and forever so let's just click on yes there may be some files which will give you a warning so just skip this file so these two files have been skipped these are actually the files of the programs that we are currently using on our pc that's why it's not able to delete them so it's fine with us so prefetch deletes the catch next what you need to do is again run windows r from your uh, keyboard this time search for temp t e m p temp t capital click on okay this will uh, bring up in my case it is bringing up an empty folder but in your case it might bring up some files or folders so whatever files or folders it is just press control a shift and delete so you need to permanently delete all of the files or the folders that are present in this particular folder because these are also the temporary cached files which we don't need the third process third step you need to do is press windows r from your keyboard again this time we need to run percent temp percent press okay now here you can see i have two files because i have been cleaning up my cache from time to time but these are actually the catches that are created uh, just now that have been created just today like you can see one first march first march so these are actually the program files of the programs that i'm currently using so one is the chrome and the second is the wmv which is currently i'm using for screen recording so i'm not going to delete these two files because these are something i'm currently using this folder actually stores the files created by the software that you have been using so suppose you are clearing your cache after 6 months so during those 6 months all the software that you have used have created some of the temporary files these all will be stored over here so whatever files are there just press control a to select them all then shift and delete to delete them permanently from your system we don't need those files okay just close this the last step is again windows are from your keyboard this time C L E A N clean M G R clean manager. Click on OK. This is a disk cleanup. So just select the disk where your operating system is installed. In my case, it's in the C drive. Click on OK. This will open up this kind of a disk cleanup, which will give you some of the uh, temporary cached files that it has stored, like the temporary internet files, delivery optimization files, etc. So just select the temporary files, thumbnails, uh, like this. 16.2 MB is the total space I want to clean, and that's the exact amount of space that is that can be cleaned. So click on OK, click on Delete Files. It's going to take a few seconds, then it's going to delete all of those files. Now uh, that's uh, 
how you can clear the catch if you want to see the difference you can just open up any folder let's say i open up this folder so now it takes a second for the thumbnails to load like if i open this folder again it is taking a second for the thumbnails to load they are not catched for me so this is actually the difference uh, that happens when you delete the cached information it actually increases your computer speed but then uh, it takes a second or two to load the data for you so that's how uh, you can delete the cache from your system that's it for this video thanks for watching